All right. All right. What is up, my midlife shredders? How you guys doing out there? Welcome to MTV Over 40. My name's Bobby. Thanks for checking out another video. So it's been a little bit over a week since I got injured as I, you know, got the sprained wrist. Shoulder is, is doing a little bit better. Got more mobility, um, but it's, uh, it's uh, still hurts pretty good. So while I'm having this time off the bike, I thought I'd decide to do a little off bike stuff and talk a little bit about my protection. Because honestly, I will say that, you know, my last crash, my helmet did an amazing job. My knee pads did an amazing job. I still got, still got some of the dirt all in it. So I'm thankful for my protection that I wear. And so I wanted to talk a little bit, uh, I wanted, I wanted to talk a little bit about that. I get questions a lot about what I use for protection. So uh, on the bike. So I thought I'd take this time to talk about it since I'm not riding. So I thought I would begin with what do I use on my general trail rides? This is all IX stuff. That starts with my Trigger AM helmet. And this is, as you can see, all my stuff's dark colored. I, I, I just, I like to be inconspicuous when I ride. So this has got the uh, dark camo color. Really love this helmet. It's lightweight, very heavily ventilated. I love the, the visor. It's got a couple of different uh, oh, I can't use this hand. It has a couple of different helmet positions. So if you are gonna wear goggles, you can, and you can pull those up. This is a MIPS uh, helmet. And so it's got adjustable, adjustable fitting here in the back. It's got a couple of different areas. So if you wanna put mounts for like your GoPro or anything like that, or your uh, action camera, you, you, there's lots, a couple of different ways. It's got some nice coverage. Um, I actually have put a, a mount here on the side. So when I do trail rides that I'm just doing for social media and I, I have the camera vertical, you know, I'll slap the camera right there on the side and just get a side view. Great helmet. I love the look of it. I love the ventilation, especially for places like here in the, in the mid South or Southeast, actually, I guess Tennessee's Tennessee's in a weird position. It could be mid South or it could be, I think my light's about to go. I see it going. Let me go change out. Change the battery in that light real quick. There we go. Much better. Yeah. I forgot where I was. Another great thing about this helmet is the padding is really, it's, it's one piece. You know, I can, I'm not going to take it out, but it's just one piece. It's not a whole bunch of different little pieces. It's, it's just one piece comes right out done throw that in a washer and you know wash it it's really nice really easy form fitting for my little bit heavier duty rides races enduro stuff uh, bike parks this is my trigger full face helmet it's the kind of the, the silver it's not the flat it's not the black uh, it's a, it's a little bit lighter it's more of a gray this helmet was great it really helped me because uh, I hit my head pretty hard in the last crash. Probably still can't see. Can you see in the dirt? Probably can't see it. But anyway, had one little one little dent. But other than that, the helmet held up really well. Uh, everything's pretty sound. No breaks, no cracks. Just a little scratch, a little dent. But that's about it. I think it's going to serve well. It's got the adjustable. Um, controls in the rear, but this, this one is not the MIPS. Just kind of waiting to see, you know, once, once this one wears out or I break it <laughs> in a crash, then I'll replace it and get the MIPS version. They did not have the MIPS version when I bought this one. So that's why, but now the, the padding inside does come in a couple different parts. It's not one piece. You can replace the foam inserts. And so you don't have to replace the whole thing. If, if one little part goes bad or some of the lining comes off, which one it has before. You can get replacement pads for these, which is really nice. Nice uh, jaw protection right here, or side side face protection. Again, this this one, the visor comes up. Actually, I think it has three positions. One, no, okay, just two. Yep, just comes up one, which is nice, again, for goggles. For your goggles, it has a little rubber uh, piece back here, so it, your goggles stay pretty well in place. They don't move around. One thing I forgot to mention on the AM helmet, because the AM helmet 
uh, has this as well is that the magnetic clips that is really sweet you just one finger they come off and almost one finger they connect i love that magnetic uh, feature makes things really nice and really easy to get the helmet on and off i've been doing the chin mount lately when i wear this helmet so i've got a little makeshift gopro chin mount right here uh, i just take the top of uh, uh, the small gopro bar mount add a little rubber tape zip tie it bam done but yeah that's the trigger am helmet uh, for my access to the padding now keeping with the more enduro style riding i have the trigger pads the trigger knee pads knee guards i guess is what what they call uh it's got the, a nice uh kind of plastic molding on the front which adds extra uh, protection and i have definitely used that look at that you can see i don't know if you can see some of the scarring it's gotten its use for sure I and mean, it still has the dirt from the last crash and everything but i love these pads it, it fits from the knee all the way kind of the top of the shin it's got two straps two secure straps they work great i don't have any problems with them moving around it is replaceable inserts so i don't know if you can see that but you probably kind of see it a little bit but it's got uh inserts the molding inserts for the knee pad you can pull out uh throw these in a washer no problem these these work great it's really soft some comfortable the the material i love it's got this like neoprene on on this side also uh, with these trigger pads uh, it's got this nice little uh, kind of foam uh, protection on, on either side of it that's really cool because not all the time you're going to hit directly on the knee right it's not going to be right here sometimes you'll whack kind of the side of the knee against a rock or root or anything like that so that extra protection helps and it has helped me in the past so that's uh, very useful and a great feature i love them again i wear these for my races enduro rides bike park love them now for the more uh more just trail rides and most of the rides i do around around here around my my home uh, I have these, the Flow Evo pads. A little bit less protection than the trigger, but that's by design and, and on purpose. These are for more just all mountain trail riding. Again, it has the replaceable insert, just like the trigger. Same neoprene uh, fabric on the front and sides. Great feeling. The mesh on the rear, just like the trigger. So it's breathable. Now it only has one strap for the bottom. I haven't felt like that has a, a top strap has been needed. It fits to the knee really well and I have no movement. I have crashed in these before, usually just very minor crashes and they held up really well. They fit good, they feel good. And I've had them for, I don't know, probably about uh, almost two years now and they still look, and once I throw them in the wash, pull them out, they look brand new. Last but not least, I have the body protection, and this is the Carve full body protection. This is um, it's a zip up the front. It has chest protection, rib protection. Now these are, there's not, these are just uh, kind of foam inserts, the, nothing hard plastic. It, I have, back protection right here and shoulder protection shoulder pads these uh, now i'm gonna i'm gonna admit that i've only used this once uh and that was when i went to wind rock rocking rocking the chest protection the ixs chest protection for the first time so if i look a little bit more buff <laughs> that's why i didn't work out at all <laughs> and but uh, after my last wreck i think i'm going to be using it more <laughs> i think i'm going to be using it for bike parks things where speed is going to be a thing or if i'm jumping it is a little warm but it's not that bad like i didn't i didn't feel like oh my gosh i gotta take this off it's so hot it's got the breathable mesh all through it these the shoulder pads are removable so just like in the knee pads you do have the removable pads here 
and the bag protection is also removable removable as well yeah so it's it's really good i'm probably going to be like i said i'm going to be using this more like i said i've only worn it once and i felt even though i didn't crash which was good at winrock glad i didn't crash there but i'm glad i have it going to be using it more i think uh it's well worth it given my injury the last time injured my shoulder uh, I think these, this would have been very helpful in minimizing that injury. So, so there you have it. That's my main protection, helmet, pads. If you have any questions about all of this stuff, feel free to use the comments below and ask any questions. Let me know what you guys love to use. I would be interested in hearing your thoughts and what is protecting you out there on the trails. Just a little note. I do have some links in the description of this video to some of this gear. If you're interested in purchasing any of this, please use those links below. They are affiliate links and I do get a small percentage off the, your purchase. It doesn't cost you anything, but it would help me out. It helps this channel out. All the money from those affiliate links go back into this channel, back into creating these videos. So, if you're interested in this, please use those links below. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you like any of this content, would love to have you along for this journey. Please give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe. Would greatly appreciate it. Hit that bell notification. Let you know when I have new videos coming out. Thanks again for watching. I'm healing up well. And so hopefully in the next couple of weeks, I'll be able to do some more videos, possibly some trail videos. Live, learn, and send it. It is never too late to start. We'll see you guys soon. Give me a second. I should I should have had this information already. Sorry. But let me look at this up. Shop protection. Knee guards.